Hi friends, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and country cook Steve Hall back aboard the beautiful Miss Sheila houseboat where we're cruising and cooking again today. Here a while back I went down to Alabama with Sheila to her, I guess kind of a family reunion picnic out there and they had all kinds of great dishes and I, you know I love food. So I'm kind of snooping around there and I run into this dish that Sheila's cousin Deb Weaver makes and it's a corn casserole and I thought this would be great for the hunting camp because it's so simple. What it is is it's white corn drained. We've got six cans of white corn in here drained. It's kind of hard to find in some of the grocery stores. I didn't think it'd be that difficult but it is. But look around and uh, you'll find some corn that's white. Just regular, It's almost like white sweet corn. Um, not creamed corn but the regular kind, whole corn, white. And get six cans of it in here to start with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take one package of Philadelphia cream cheese and I've got that sitting right in the middle of this bowl right here and it's kind of snugged up with these two sticks of butter so you need a half a pound of butter, two quarter sticks and the cream cheese and I'm going to pop this in the microwave and I'm going to melt it down first. The cream cheese doesn't really melt as much as it just softens but the butter will. Then I'm going to stir it in here. This will take just a second. Alright we got our butter and our cream cheese all melted there. We're going to put that back into our corn. There we go. Now the corn I'm using today, I actually said six cans. I got seven of these little shorties in here. These are 11 ounce cans by Green Giant. It's that white shoe peg. I, that's all I could find in the store this time. But any white corn will do. And uh, if you don't know how many cans it fits, just whatever kind of, you know, two thirds or three quarters fills your casserole dish. Let me stir this butter and this cream cheese down in here. Wow, this is amazing looking stuff. You know, these recipes that I try to bring to the hunting and fishing community out there around the world is something that's simple because you're not going to have a, a 87 different ingredients out there at the hunting camp. And we want something that's quick, easy, and that you will take the time to make. And when you try these recipes, you'll go, wow, that one's great. Maybe the next one's good too. Look how delicious that is. Almost has a texture almost like macaroni and cheese looking stuff. Kind of a real creamy white corn. And this goes great with venison. It really goes good with your venison. Now what we're going to add is some jalapeno peppers diced up. And I got a little four ounce can here. You should find the kind that have very few seeds in it. If you got the time to take some of the seeds out, it won't be quite as hot but still as flavorful. But I did dump this little, for you wouldn't think that all these peppers came out of this little can, but they did. I drained the juice, picked out a, quite a few seeds out of it, and I'm going to dump that little four ounce group of jalapeno diced peppers in there. I'm going to stir them little bad boys down in there. But I had this down there at that family reunion and after about my fourth helping I said you have got to give me that recipe. This is the best tasting stuff anywhere and I had 50 dishes sitting on about 16 picnic tables and I thought man I've got to share this corn casserole with jalapeno peppers with the world. This stuff is good, good stuff. Look at the color. Isn't that beautiful? Got them little peppers floating around in there. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to load up our casserole dish. Going to preheat our oven to 350. You can cook birch bark at 350. Everything's at 350 anymore, unless it's a specialty item that has to be heated up a little bit quicker on the outside. Then I'll jack it up to different temp. We'll get this in this casserole dish here. I can't hardly wait till it's done just to eat it. I don't care about necessarily showing it so much on television as this. When we're done with the recipe, I've got this casserole dish full of this stuff, and you don't until you go out and make it. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? And that's all there is to it. Butter, and it's got the cream cheese melted. One brick of cream cheese, two sticks of butter, quarter sticks, melted in the microwave. Six cans of corn are enough to fill it about three quarters of the way up on your handy dandy dish. And then one of these little four ounce cans of diced jalapenos all mixed together when it's real warm. Now we're going to pop it in the oven until it kind of gets golden brown. Yeah, about 35-40 minutes. Then we'll take it out and let's see what it tastes like. Check it out. And there you have it fresh out of the oven. Corn casserole. Deb made it down at the family reunion with all them goodies in there. Now that's white corn 
about five or six cans, enough to bring it up to about here on your casserole dish, about three quarters full. We put it in a bowl, drained the corn first. You got to drain the corn. We took one eight ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese and two quarter sticks of butter, which is a half a pound. Put them in the microwave, melted it down. The cream cheese really doesn't melt, but it gets real soft. The butter does. Poured it in, whipped it in our corn until we got it real nice, almost to the consistency of macaroni and cheese, kind of. Then we took one four ounce package, or one little can, I should say, of jalapeno peppers diced up. Make sure they don't got a lot of seeds in them. Kind of pick some of the seeds out. Dump that in, mix it in, popped it in our casserole dish, put it in the oven for 350, 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes until it almost kind of gets a little brown around the edges, but it doesn't really have to get golden brown like a pie. It just gets firm on the top. And then all you need is a bowl and a spoon. I ain't got no spoon. That's, oh, there we go. There's my spoon. Thank you. Well, I forgot. Anyway, here we go. I got to try this out. This stuff is absolutely divine. Check it out at your next hunting camp. Get you some corn. Bring it out there. Whip it up. Get you your best venison dish from our recipe series. Mm. That's it. I remember that taste. Is it the best corn casserole dish you've ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall saying we'll see you next time. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Cooking with Shotgun Red. If you enjoy our recipes, become a subscriber to our cooking channel. And you'll be the first to know when a new recipe is posted. We'll see you next time and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. This is Shotgun Red saying thanks a lot.